Hey garden friends, I'm Nikki from Proven Winners Direct and I am spending time in our gorgeous gardens today. Super excited. We did have a couple of huge storms last week and so a lot of our pretties are still recovering, but I wanna show you as many of our plant of the day plants that are planted in our garden and growing beautifully as I possibly can. So again, we have seven new plant of the day plants for you this week, annuals, perennials, and shrubs, all of them available each day of the week at 35% off. Those discounts and the plants change daily at noon Eastern Standard Time. But if you see many that you can't wait to put in your own gardens, you can purchase all of them at 35% off on Monday from 12 until 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you've been watching for a while and you love our Plant of the Day videos, be sure to give us a like and subscribe. That way you get notified every time we post and we're going to do our best to spend more times in these gorgeous gardens. So you're gonna want to do that. So to make everything very easy for you, we have links in the description of the video for each plant. Super easy peasy, click the link, it'll take you right to the product page and you can stack up on all your favorite pretties. So let's get started. Our first plant of the day is the Blue My Mind Evolvulus. And this beauty is a perfect true blue. And it's coveted, right? Next best thing to purple, of course. But I love the blue flower. And this is about as true blue as you are going to get for our annuals. So the Blue My Mind is very long blooming. It will last you all summer long. It's gonna keep pushing out these beautiful blue blooms and it trails about 16 inches, so about a, about a foot and a half. Um, it's got a mounding trailing habit. So as you can kind of see here, it doesn't mound up like a supertunia or something like that would, but it, it gets beefy in the middle and then spills over your containers. It's heat and drought tolerant. It's especially great in hot climates. I know that can be a struggle for some of you. And it's got this really cute, like fuzzy, silvery foliage that's just stunning off of those blue blooms. This is one of our top sellers, it has been for the last couple of years. Plenty of awards, I, I think 41. This is a sturdy, strong, thriving performer that can work in your containers, in your landscape, in your window boxes, everywhere. Gorgeous, gorgeous pop of blue. Our next plant of the day is the Proven Accents Mizu Trailer. And that is this beautiful guy right here behind me. This is my first year growing Mizu, and I've always loved it because it's got a great texture. It almost reminds me of a succulent type texture. Um, and it's got these really cute little dainty blooms that, that appear mostly in the sun. Um, so I just had never tried it before because I'm kind of an Ipomoea girl and I like that as my trailers. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with it this year. I have it in two containers uh, by my vegetable garden with some mini vistas and supertunia honey. It might be my new favorite. It's just so lush and full. So the Mizu loves the sun. It's drought tolerant, which is always a bonus in my book. It doesn't get very tall, only about five inches, seven inches tall, but it trails about a foot to a foot and a half. And I'm talking lush. I mean, you can see here, it's still got, it still seems almost early stages right now in this container, but that's going to fill out in those awesome leaves just it's just so lush and beautiful. I love it. It's a great filler and spiller for your containers. Obviously, is as a standalone even, it's gorgeous, but I love mixing it with the bright colors because that lime green is perfection. Our next plant of the day is the Dolce Cherry Truffles Heucra, also known as Coral Bells to many of you. I love heucra. I love heucra because they are a beautiful foliage plant, just like my beloved hostas, but they bring a pop of color. And this rich mahogany red is stunning. If you're starting to think about fall planting, cherry truffles is what you're after. So this is a beautiful perennial. It's hardy in zones five through nine. You can grow it in the sun or the shade, in containers, in the ground. Super versatile, super easy to grow. Has this beautiful mounding habit, can spread up to two and a half feet wide, and it's just this gorgeous display of colorful foliage. They also have those magnificent flower scapes that come up with all those little tiny blooms that just have that beautiful accent. Um, the cherry truffles, it's like a pink, creamy, bloom 
that comes up. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. The pollinators love the blooms on heuchras. So really it's just a super easy, versatile plant that you can put anywhere and count on to come back year after year and provide gorgeous, gorgeous color. Our next plant of the day is the Amazing Daisies, Daisy May. And they hold true to their name. Is there anything more cheery than a daisy? Those pure white blooms in the cheery yellow center. So precious, I love them. So this is a beautiful perennial for zones five through nine. They love the sun. Make sure you have some good space for them because they will spread and be magnificent. They can spread um, about two and a half feet wide. So these clumps are just gonna continue to grow year after year and you're gonna have this beautiful sea of white daisies. Um, easy, easy perennial to grow. Uh, they do like well-drained soil, uh, but they pretty much can go anywhere. I've seen people grow them in containers as well. I love them as a drift in the landscape. I'm a perennial girl. I love them, this is a fave. I, because they're easy. And the cool thing about Amazing Daisies is they literally have three times the bloom power because of their branching. Really strong branching, and it's hard to tell from this far away, but as the summer progresses, you'll literally have blooms from start to finish because it gets these extra branches. So you'll have spent blooms, totally normal. Deadhead them if you like. I prefer to deadhead the daisies just because it makes them look prettier, but you don't have to. They will keep blooming. Amazing daisies indeed. Our next plant of the day is the Paraplu Ruse Rose of Sharon. And roses of Sharon are in their prime right now. The heat of the summer has finally hit. It's edging the ends and you can tell on this one, the buds are beginning to explode. So this is actually not the Paraplu Rouge. The Paraplu Rouge has a deeper reddish pink bloom. It's actually one of the deepest shades of our Rose of Sharon's. Gorgeous, gorgeous shade. But I wanted you to see the habit. So this guy here, he's got to be at least five to seven years old because it is clearly much taller than I am but they grow about five feet wide and about six to 10 feet tall at maturity. Now, they aren't the fastest growers, um, but you could probably expect about a foot to a foot and a half of growth each season. Um, and the one key thing to keep in mind with Rose of Sharon's, especially if you're in a colder climate, they are very slow to wake up in the summer. I have the white pillar planted at my house and I'm always like, uh, I don't know, but it always wakes up and it's always beautiful. Don't worry. So the one thing that I love most about Rose of Sharon's outside of their beautiful hibiscus-like blooms is their habit and the movement in the garden. They're just like one of those whimsical shrubs that just like grace your presence and they just flow in the wind. I love them. So we are really coming into prime time for them. All of these, I mean, you guys, there's hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of these beautiful buds that are just going to explode with that beautiful bloom. The bees, the butterflies, and the hummingbirds love Rose of Sharon and they resist deer, so that's always an added bonus. Um, you obviously need lots of space for this guy, meaning that it'll get five feet wide and six to 10 feet tall, but they are so worth it if you have the space. Those huge, ginormous, beautiful colored blooms cannot be beat. Our next plant of the day is the Vino Verde Wygela. These are new and they are stunning. They have this beautiful lime green foliage with black margins around the edges. It's gorgeous. I had the opportunity to see this grown at Spring Meadows and it was nice, full, fully grown and beautiful, beautiful habit. Really nice round habit. Wygelas tend to have that you know, a little bit crazier of a habit, but this stays super nice and tidy and you cannot beat this foliage. It does have like a reddish um, bloom that comes in early spring, but you really do want to grow this for the foliage. So they can, they, they love the sun and they only get to be about three to five feet tall and wide. So beautiful, nice rounded habit, super easy to grow. It's a hardy shrub in zones five through eight. Um, but it's just, it's new and it's fun and it's exciting. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's these black margins that pop on that lime green centers. Gorgeous, gorgeous shrub.
Our final plant of the day is the Supertunia Mini Vista Indigo, and that is this gorgeous purple beauty here beside me. I love this bed because it gives you the perfect visual of what the mini vistas look like when they're grown in the landscape. And as you can tell, it is a sea of color. We have multiple different varieties here, but they're all the mini vistas and I love the way they grow. It is bloom after bloom after bloom all summer long. They don't spread as crazily as the vistas do, the bigger ones. Um, they stay more, kind of more clumped, but oh my gosh, as you can see, beautiful sea of color. So the Mini Vista Indigo, part to full sun. These guys here are in full sun and thriving. They love to be fed, proven winners, water soluble. And we're in the heat of the summer. So any of your supertunias that you have right now, you're gonna wanna make sure you are giving them the proven winners, water soluble, every third watering. It's always good to keep that uptake. But one thing, make sure that you're watering in between feedings because you don't want to give the fertilizer when it, the soil's super dry. Side note, okay. Mini vistas in the landscape, obviously you can see they, they can spread up to two feet. Same thing in your beautiful containers. They're a perfect filler, perfect spiller. They just trail over. I have a couple of these planted at home. They took a little bit longer to really get going because we had a super cold start to our summer. But now that the heat's here, they are just thriving and beautiful. 31 awards the Mini Vista Indigo has won. So you know it's going to perform beautifully for you. That wraps up another episode of Plant of the Day. I hope you enjoyed seeing a couple new spots in our gorgeous gardens. We have water features and bridges to walk across. Love being out here. I also hope that you found a new plant that you love that you can try in your own gardens at home. Again, all of our plants are discounted at 35% off every day of the week starting at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. If you found a ton that you can't wait to try yourself, you can purchase as many as you'd like on Mondays from noon until four. Be sure to give us a like and subscribe and we'll see you next week. Happy planting.